This is the SME Hub with myself, Xenia, as well as Christine Rita Abankwa, the founder of Secure the Bag Africa, which is a high-performance coaching platform. For today, we are talking about boundaries. Setting healthy boundaries as an entrepreneur, to be more specific. It's interesting that we often hear about setting boundaries in our everyday lives, but not so much when it comes to our businesses. Now, Christine, how important is it to set boundaries when you are building a business? I'd imagine you'd want to be open-minded, especially when you're trying to access opportunities? Well, particularly in the early stages of building a business, there's a tendency to feel that you have to do everything, meet everyone, pitch to every single customer, and turn every conversation into a deal. In the process, you are trying to meet the needs and expectations of all of these people. You can actually overlook your own values, desires, and strategies out of fear of missing out on something. This is because people have a tendency to take advantage of people who spread themselves too thin. Of course, there are many times you'll have to bend over backwards, but without boundaries, you can compromise your own plans and health. So what else happens when you don't set boundaries? You teach people how to treat you. Think about businesses that have low barriers to entry. Everyone and anyone can get in and the area becomes difficult to regulate. It's the same way with you. If you don't have boundaries, people take advantage of that and it becomes harder to get the respect you deserve. The inability to set boundaries means that you have effectively agreed to do things that don't serve you well. You can end up trying to negotiate your desired terms and conditions too late and meet with resistance because people will wonder where all these changes are suddenly coming from and you can end up feeling resentful. Welcome back to the SME Hub. Christine, we are talking about boundaries. Can you give us some examples of healthy boundaries? You know, Zinia, as much as entrepreneurs can work round the clock, we need to be clear about our hours of availability. If everyone knows that they can reach you 24-7 and you'll perform 24-7, it'll be hard to find time to rest, regroup, create, or even spend time with family. Another example is when you partner or collaborate with others. Sometimes you find your voice constantly being drowned out or a decision being made that you deeply disagree with. And sometimes they don't properly negotiate terms that will benefit them and their business because, well, you don't want to disturb the peace. Am I right? Exactly. A lot of times we ignore our intuition, warning us of red flags. So it's important to have your own personal indicators for relationships, deals and processes and to be clear about how you want to be treated, where you can compromise and what is non-negotiable and set up those boundaries. Remember, the next person's rights end where yours begin. So think about all your boundaries, financial, physical, time, even the workload you receive compared to others or the tendency of people to dump their work on you just because you are resourceful. Healthy boundaries help you to perform at your best, which can only benefit the entire team. Before we go, Christine, please tell us more about what you do and how people can get in touch of you. Thanks, Zinia. As a purpose catalyst, vision implementer, and startup strategist, I work with individuals and companies from all over Africa to help them create or enhance their businesses and careers based on their unique visions. I also run a series of online programs and I teach people how to find and develop their own coaching niches so that they can empower others too. You can follow Secure the Bag Africa on Facebook and Instagram to get in touch and watch our Pan-African business webinars and find out more about our masterclasses.